Speak Indo podcast is a medium to think about life while learning about the Indonesian language and culture. Hi, I'm Natasha, the host of Speak Indo podcast. The first part of the story will be narrated in the Indonesian language. The second part will be in English. The transcript is available on our blog speakindo.life and our YouTube Speak Indo channel. Season 4, Episode A10. No More Dogs. Waktu kecil, aku beberapa kali mempunyai anjing. Tipe anjingnya adalah anjing lokal. Biasanya disebut dengan anjing kampung. Mungkin untuk orang lain, anjing kampung tidak secantik anjing import atau blasteran. Tapi untuk aku tetap lucu. Yang aku paling suka dari anjing adalah mereka sangat setia dan selalu menyambutku dengan gembira. Salah satu pengalaman yang aku tidak akan lupa saat aku berumur 13 tahun. Anjing aku, Homer, mulai sakit. Aku naik bajai pergi ke dokter hewan. Aku sedih sekali saat dikatakan Homer sakit parah dan usianya tidak akan lama lagi. Tak lama setelah Homer meninggal, Orang tuaku adopsi anjing lain lagi, supaya aku terhibur. Namanya Blacky, tapi akhirnya Blacky pun meninggal sakit. Sejak itu, walaupun ingin, aku tidak berani untuk punya anjing lagi. Rasa kehilangan dan sedih ditinggal terlalu besar. Takut terulang. The next one will be the English version of the story. When I was young, I had dogs as pets several times. They were mostly of the local types, mutts and mongrels. Maybe for other people, a mutt is not as attractive as the imported pure or mixed breeds, but for me they remain cute. What I love most about dogs is their loyalty and how they always welcome me with pure happiness. One of my unforgettable experiences happened when I was 13 years old. My dog Homer started to be sick and I took a bajai to take him to the veterinarian. I was overcome with sadness when I was informed that Homer was gravely ill and that he did not have long to live. Not long after Homer's passing, my parents adopted another dog to help cheer me up. His name was Blackie, but at the end he too passed away due to illness. Since then, even though the desire was still there, I did not dare to get another dog. The sense of loss and sadness of their passing was too much to bear and to repeat. We'd like to thank the people who have supported our program, especially our guest speakers, for sharing their true stories. We are in the midst of repeating history, where greed and power dividing and manipulating the world through war of hunger, illness, and fear. It's not about taking sides, it's not about beating the enemies, but it might be about unlocking wisdom and beating the brute in our soul. Probably one day when we look back, we will learn how valuable is the time that we have to hug our loved ones, to be kind to our fellow humans, and to thank the sun for shining upon us. I'm Natasha, your host of Speak Indo podcast, and we would like to thank our guest speakers for sharing their story. If you like the story, please share it with your friends and family. The transcript of the story is available at our blog speakindo.life and our YouTube Speak Indo channel. You can subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any upcoming episodes. These are our stories. What is yours? <laughs>